Hey guys, I'm in my new garage, yay! Apparently I do, I just now realized I do this after every, I start every Facebook Live. I wanna get your attention, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, I am working on a big project, like really big. So, um, I live near Murray State University and they are my alma mater, that's where I went to college. And a friend of mine who lives nearby is in charge of the Murray State Racer basketball team. And so she contacted me and asked me if I'd be willing to take on a big project, which was to create um, a huge eight foot tall backdrop, hey Betty, for um, their upcoming game next Saturday, December the 1st. Y'all have to excuse me, I don't have any makeup on or anything, it's work day. And uh, so December 1st, the racer basketball game is gonna be the theme of the Grinch who stole racer basketball. And so I have taken on the responsibility of creating a big backdrop to go behind Santa Claus when, where he sits and takes pictures. And they're also gonna have the Grinch there. Hey, Mandy and Cassandra and Lisa. And so the Grinch is gonna be all dressed up and Santa's gonna be dressed up and they're gonna be taking pictures. And so I've already traced out one image. Can you guys see this? I don't know if you can, let me see if I can. You can kind of see that. It says, welcome to Whoville. And it's like a little car driving into Whoville. So yesterday, I went to pull out like some transparencies because this is how I blow stuff up on a big, big backdrop like this. And I didn't have any more of these. And you know what? I went to Walmart and they didn't have any more of these either. I didn't realize that like these are going out of style, I guess. Not many people are using them anymore because not many people are using these things anymore. See this ancient like Elmo projector? I borrowed it from our church because they, they don't use it anymore either. So I borrowed it just for the weekend. And anyways, I went to Walmart looking for these and couldn't find them. And I almost panicked. I'm like, crap, I don't have time to buy a big fancy projector because I've got to get this project done like tomorrow. And so um, I called Office Depot and asked them if they sold these. And they said, yes, we sell them in like packs of 50 or 100. And I'm like, I don't need that many because it was like $35 for a pack of 50 of them, right? So um, I, asked, I said, well, can I buy just like two of them? And they said, come over to our copy and print section and we can just sell you a couple, however many you need. And so I went over there and they were like, here you go, they're $2 each. I was like, okay, uh, that's a deal. That's, that's probably a little pricey, but you know, was, I, that's all I needed. And then I'm like, wait a minute, if I take these home and I plug up my printer and I try to print them on my printer, what if I goof them up and have to come back and get more? I don't have time for that. And I'm like, wait a minute, they do copying printing here. I said, I've got these images on my phone, can you just print them out here for me? And she's like, yeah, no problem. So for 15 extra cents, she went ahead and printed them for me. So this is the one I've already drawn out. I'm fixing to do this one here. Now this is the one that's gonna have the faces cut out and people will be able to plug their face into the hole to take pictures. And so um, we've got Cindy Lou here who, and I'm gonna do the dog. I'm kinda thinking I wanna keep like, I wanna keep Cindy Lou's bangs but I'm gonna cut out, like with a jigsaw, the whole inner part of her face, so I won't have to paint that part. And then for the Grinch, I wanna be able to keep like his cheeks and stuff, and so I might just cut out like the center part right here, big enough for a face hole. But I wanna be able to keep like the cheeks and things so when somebody sticks their face in, they still have the Grinchy look. And then for the little dog, I kinda wanna keep his nose, so I may just cut out this area here for a face. So that's my plan. So if you guys want to watch for a few seconds, you can comment and question or ask questions and I might come back and try to answer them in a minute. But all I'm doing is tracing this with a Sharpie. And I'm going to try not to get in my own way. Now this one is only going to be about five feet tall because I'm 5'4". So it's only going to be about five feet tall. So if a grown up comes and gets in it, they're going to have to stick their face down in the hole. And maybe we could like, ooh, I know, maybe I could like cut part of the top of it off, but keep it maybe about this tall and put some words across the top like uh, the theme is the, the Grinch who stole racer basketball because in case you guys are just now tuning in this is for the Murray State racer basketball game next Saturday night they're having a big like Christmas themed basketball game hey Andrea so how many of you guys bought a ticket if you're in Painters Clubhouse you had the opportunity to go ahead and buy your ticket this morning to the Southern Adornments live in March March 2019 if you are not a Painters Clubhouse member and you want to come tomorrow at 9 a.m., I will post the link on my page here for you guys to go and sign up. So, yes, Tess got a ticket. Good. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start tracing. 
And if you are not in Painters Clubhouse and you want to get your ticket today, you can sign up for Painters Clubhouse today and only until 10 p.m. tonight. And it closes at 10 p.m. Central Time. So go over to paintersclubhouse.com. If somebody will plug that in the comments for me, I'd appreciate it. Paintersclubhouse.com and uh, get, your, get into the membership there. It's $37 a month. I teach you how to paint door hangers every month. I teach you new painting techniques and all the things. Brandy, your cousin graduated from Murray State. Well, I graduated from Murray State back in 2005. So when they asked me to do this, I was kind of like, you know, okay, you know, normally I wouldn't take on a project this big, but it is the Murray State Racers, so I kind of felt like I wanted to do it. And so I'm just tracing this with a Sharpie. Let me get over here on this side of it. The problem is, is you have to kind of stand at an angle. You can't stand right in front of it or you can't see what you're doing. And then you kind of have to figure out what parts you want to trace. So I'm going to go ahead and trace over like these whiskers and things because when I go to paint it, even though I paint this all green, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to see my Sharpie lines through the green paint and I'll be able to like go back and add the black lines for detail and all that sort of thing. So I'm going ahead and I'm just tracing pretty much everything that, uh, Dr. Seuss would have drawn on here. I'm going to go ahead and trace that. I'm not going to trace his, well, I might trace his cheeks here because I am going to do the face cut out right here somewhere. I don't know how yet, but we'll see. But anyway, um, this is just how I did it. I just trace all this out and then I'm just going to sit down and try to paint it all out this afternoon. And I might do another Facebook Live if I get a chance to. Uh, we will see. It just depends because I may be like running in here and working on it for a few minutes and then leaving to go do other things because I'm doing like 15 different things today. With Painters Clubhouse being open today and selling tickets to my event in March, I have been so busy this morning. Have any of you guys ever created something like this? Like a lot of times you can use this method to... Um, do like a wall mural on, in somebody's bedroom or like in a church nursery or something. Or you could use this method if you wanted to do yard art in like really large, like this is how I did the Grinch, the Grinches that were stealing the lights last, last winter. I did a few of those and sold them. I'm not doing them this year, but they were really fun. I always like to challenge myself with a different kind of project like this. Like, I've been wanting to do a wall mural, but it's just finding the time. But I love challenging myself to try different things. You know, it doesn't have to be a door hanger. I could paint, you know, yard art or a wall or whatever. I just like trying all this new stuff. This is the dog. Like, it's, <laughs> the dog has, oh, it's some, is that something tied around his head right there? Or is that a double chin? <laughs> I'm not sure. Let's see. I'm going to keep this cut out, so. And then I'm going to do the nose. He's got a funny nose. If you've never cut out a door hanger before with a jigsaw, I swear it's not as hard as it sounds. I've got so many women in my painter's clubhouse who've never cut out a door hanger before, but they learned how to do it by watching my jigsaw tutorial. And they were like, man, that wasn't nearly as hard as I thought it was gonna be. And it's so empowering. They feel like they can do just about anything after they do that. Now this is, in case you guys are wondering, this is just a half inch sheet of plywood from Lowe's, half inch thick. And before I did all of this, I. Um, Let's see, what did I do? I spat, let me take a break, because my knees are hurting and I'm getting old. Um, so before, before I started doing this part, I went through and I took some like white spackle, like you would spackle nail holes with, and I spackled all of the knot holes because there were some, quite a few knot holes on it. And so now you can't even see them. So I spackled the knot holes and then I took some high hiding primer because that was what I had from where we painted Charlie's bedroom and I painted the entire thing with like a roller. Now, when you're painting something this big, it's hard to use just the little bitty roller, right? So I have one of these little extenders. So I used the extender and I just dipped it in the white paint 
and I rolled it all over this eight foot board. And I think it's gonna make it a lot easier when I go to actually paint the design on there because the paint won't soak in quite as fast and I won't be fighting against hiding the wood grain. Uh, Regina, you did a large outdoor board for your father. Oh, how cool, I bet they love that. Darla, you did this for your church hallway. Oh, I bet they love that too, that is so neat. Mandy, I'm excited to get it finished. <laughs> Thank you, Ashley. Where did I get the enlarger? Oh, it is one of these old school Elmo projectors like your teacher probably used in school. It's an Elmo brand, E-L-M-O. And if you go to like thrift stores or uh, salvage places, they probably have them for pennies because nobody's really using them at school anymore. Um, they, they've all got better, more technological stuff. Thank you for putting that link in there, Kathy. So Kathy put the link in. It's www.painterscluphouse.com. If you want to join, my garage is a mess right now, so just ignore all that crap in the background. Um, this month in the clubhouse, I'm gonna be teaching, uh, actually this afternoon at 2 p.m. So if you sign up before 2 p.m., you'll get to watch me painting live at 2. Um, I'm gonna be painting a whimsical Christmas tree. And in case you don't know already, I, I provide the template each month so that you can paint along with me. And you just use that template to cut out your own shape. And if you don't want to do that, if you want to buy the shapes already cut, that option is available also. And as a Painters Clubhouse member, you get 20% off every order that you place on the website, unless it's something that's like already on sale. So if it's another promotion that I'm doing, you can't really combine the coupons, but uh, you can get 20% off any blanks, templates, stencils, stuff like that that you order anytime. And it's like, it's not just a one-time use coupon. You can use it as many times as you want. My Sharpie's trying to get out on me. I think it's tired of drawing on this wood. It's kind of hard on the little nubbin or whatever you call the thing that... While I'm tracing all of this, I just start to think about Dr. Seuss, and I'm like, man, he was so stinking talented. Like, the fact that he could, like, just doodle all of this and come up with these creatures and these little characters, like, just out of his brain is mind-boggling to me. And, he, and, like, when I'm tracing this, I'm like, man, this, these lines are so simple, yet if I were to try to create this on my own, there's no way that it would look exactly like working around the cord. <laughs> Can you guys even see me down here? I'll come up in a second. I gotta come up for air. My knees are hurting. Will you have any classes that will begin in January? You'd love to join. Uh, Betty, unfortunately, we are not going to be opening the group back up again until March 2019. So if you don't get in now, it's going to be March 2019 before you have a chance to join again. Um, but yes, we do classes every single month. I mean, so if you signed up now, even if you can't paint with us now or you can't paint with us in January even, like you can go ahead and like watch the tutorials or just save them for when you do have a rainy day and have a chance to get caught up. And so you can go back and watch old tutorials. And even if it's something that's like out of season, I recommend you go ahead and watch it because I guarantee you, like me or one of the guest painters is gonna share some little nugget of helpful help, help, helpfulness that will like be a light bulb in your head. You know how like sometimes you're watching a video and somebody tells you how to do something and then all of a sudden you're like, why didn't I think of that? that that's like so smart. That's like a shortcut that I didn't think about, right? So, um, even if you aren't able to paint alongside us every single month, you will still learn stuff just by watching. And then when you are ready to paint, you can implement those then. Uh, but like I was saying, it's $37 a month. You can cancel at any time. People always ask that. They're always like, well, you know, is there a contract? Am I stuck in here for a while? No. Like, if, you know, if times get hard and you can't stay in for a while, I totally get it. Like, you can cancel at any time. What is this on top of her head? I guess that's like a homemade antler or something. I don't know. But, uh, okay, so that's pretty much 
all that I have to draw on here. So I think later I may do some cute words or something up here at the top that says Merry Christmas or something like that. Yeah, Janine, it is big. <laughs> uh, anyways, okay, does anybody have any more questions? You do wreaths and you would love to incorporate. Well, Betty, you can incorporate this into your business because the door hangers that I teach are 20 inches in size, right? But every door hanger that I sell on my website, you have the option to buy it in 12 inch size, eight inch size, or six inch size. So even if you didn't wanna paint the 20 inch size one, you could go ahead and buy just the 12 inch or the eight inch or whatever size you feel like would fit your wreath the best and you could paint that smaller version. And I would love to see what you do with it because I'm not a wreath maker. Like, I've tried and I stink at it. <laughs> so I love it when you guys do stuff like that and then share the pictures with me because it kind of like opens me up to the possibilities of what stuff could be done with things that I make, even if I couldn't do it. Ooh, Jessica, Merry Grinchmas. That's what I'll do. Are you gonna be at the ball game next, next Saturday night, Jessica? That's where this is going. It's gonna be at the Murray State Racer basketball game Saturday night. Um, the kids will be able to stick their faces in behind each of these spots and take pictures. And then I've got another one. For those of you tuning in late, this is what the other one looks like. Can you see this? I need something white to put behind it. I don't know, but it says, welcome to Whoville. And it's got like a little car driving into Whoville. And so this will be the big backdrop. Instead of Whoville though, it's gonna say, welcome to Racerville. And uh, this will be behind Santa Claus, and it is eight foot by four foot. It's gonna be the entire huge thing, so. Amanda, you would love to live closer. Aw, girl, I wish you did. Well, I tell you what, if you wanna come hang out with me in March, March 21st to the 23rd, I'm gonna be in Nashville, Tennessee, and you can buy a ticket starting tomorrow if you're not a Painters Clubhouse member. And uh, they're $250 for the ticket. It's a three-day event, but it's kind of over the course of 48 hours. So even though it's 48 hours, it's split amongst three days. A half day Thursday, a half day Saturday, full day Friday. And we're going to be painting together, and we're going to be just doing, having so much fun. It's going to be awesome. So it's in Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, if you will look for the post tomorrow at 9 a.m., I'm going to post right here on my page about it so you guys can go and buy tickets. But there's only 150 tickets. And right before I got on this live, we had already sold 23 tickets, I think. So they're gonna go pretty quick, I hope. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> okay, Phyllis, I got the transparency. It, I went to Office Depot. I gave them the image. It's just a coloring book image. You Google Grinch or Whoville coloring book image and save that to like your phone or email it to Office Depot. They can print it right out on a transparency for you. Easy peasy. And they were only like $2.15 each printed. And so I'll have those, you know, in the future if I ever need to do this again. All right, well, I've got to get off here because I gotta figure out how I'm gonna paint this thing. And I might try to come back live again and show you guys while I'm painting it, but I kinda need to come up with a game plan first. So I'll see you guys again later. Bye. Oh, go sign up for Painters Clubhouse. www. Why do I always say that? It makes me sound old. Paintersclubhouse.com. <laughs> Bye. Oh crap, it's not letting me 